Hey guys, it's Katie of Love Sweat Fitness. Today I have a five minute flat belly workout for you. We have five different exercises that we'll do for about a minute each. We're gonna start with a plank, move on to mermaid crunches, a reverse tuck crunch, threading the needle, and finish with bicycle crunches. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for five minutes. We're gonna start in a forearm plank. So let's get going right into it. Step those feet back, bring your arms into an 11, pushing your forearms into the ground, tuck your pelvic under, pull your belly button up toward the sky, keep your neck and spine nice and long, your gaze is down, shoulders pull away from the ears, and breathe it out. So making sure that you are breathing continuously here. If you ever need to, you're welcome to come onto your knees, but try to challenge yourself getting up on those toes and hold it. You're already almost halfway there. Breathing, this is gonna warm up your entire body, really focusing on that core, so squeezing the area around the belly button, hanging out. And if you need to, again, don't hesitate to drop to those knees, but try to get right back up. A few more seconds here. After this, we're gonna move into the mermaid crunches on our left side body to start in just about five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Come over onto your left side body for our mermaid crunches, bringing your feet just slightly in front of you. You're gonna reach up overhead, lift your legs, then bend your knees crunching in, extend, and lower down. Up, in, and bring it down. Just 30 seconds on each side. Up, in, out, and down. Good, really working into those obliques. Crunch it in, and lower. A few more here. Last one, and roll it to the opposite side. Same thing, bring it in, out, and lower it down. Making sure you're rolled back onto the side of your booty a little bit there, so it's not hurting your hip bone. Down, up, good, in, lower, and lift. Squeeze it, nice job. Two more. Last one, and come onto your back. So rolling onto your back, bringing your feet out in front. You're gonna bring your hands underneath your tailbone to start, reach your legs long, crunch your knees toward the chest and lift your hips in a little reverse crunch. So extend and pull it in. If this seems really easy, then bring your hands behind your head and lift your shoulders up off the floor. Gaze straight up and find that little crunch, lifting with those lower abdominals. Good, up and out, up. Keep lifting. Little exhales as you lift. Really extend those legs long and low. Bring it out. Good. Let's do eight more, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rock and roll back up. We're gonna move back onto our side body for a thread the needle. So forearm plank on the side of your arm. Lift your hips up off the floor, reach your right arm overhead. You're gonna rotate, bring that hand down through the armpit, bringing your gaze down as well and lift it back up. We go down and up, good. And breathe. If this is challenging for you, drop down onto that bottom knee. You're still gonna get a great oblique workout, but it'll just make it a little bit easier. Or again, hop it back up as you can. Full side body plank and thread that needle. A few more here. Last one on this side, then turn it over, moving right to the opposite side, and rotate down, up, and twist. Really squeeze the abs on that lower side body, the side closest to the floor, as you wrap it around. Good. After this, we're gonna move into those bicycle crunches on our back, just to finish it off, nice and strong. Two more, last one here. And on our back, 30 seconds left. 
We got this. Hands behind the head, shoulders up, and twist. Opposite knee. Come on. We're so close. Keep pushing. Twist, twist. Good, and breathe. Almost there. Check our time. In five, four, three, two, and done. Let it go. Hug those knees into the chest. Stretch it out. Whew. Nice job. I hope you guys love that workout. Come say hi at Love Sweat Fitness, and don't forget, good things come to those who sweat.